top five silver gold stacking mistakes. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Patriotic Stack here, and I'm back with another great video for you guys and girls today. And thanks for coming on again to the Patriotic Stacker YouTube channel. And if you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed, go down there and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that like button. It helps the channel out, especially if you like videos about gold and silver. Why wouldn't you subscribe? And to all my subscribers, don't forget to go hit that like button at the end of this video. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Haven't we all made mistakes when stacking gold and silver? You know, we are all human. We've made mistakes. And if there's a stacker out there that said they've never made a stake, a mistake, a stake. <laughs> if they never made a mistake, they're lying through their teeth. Everybody, I mean everybody, has made a stacking mistake. And I'm sure as we speak, as I speak right now, there are some new stackers right now making some pretty big mistakes when buying gold and silver. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five mistakes that silver and gold stackers do. So starting off with number one, buying gold and silver with crazy high premiums. That goes down to not knowing what to buy. What's a good deal? What's not a good deal? And right now, silver eagles are not a good deal. You are spending 15 to $20 over spot and as we speak, there's a lot of new people getting into gold and silver and they're buying eagles and other high premium pieces just because they look cool. Don't get me wrong, we all like to treat ourselves and buy some vintage silver and cool series and you know rare coins and stuff. But we all know that's not really for the stack, that's for the collection part of our stack. Because we all know when we bring that in to sell it, they're gonna give us spot or maybe a little over. But we're not going to get our money back unless spot price and on gold and silver climb. So that's like mistake number one. Buying crazy high premium pieces. Stick with bullion. Build that base up. Treat yourself once in a while. But don't go overboard with high premium pieces. Because most of the time, you're not going to get your money back. Number two not knowing where to buy your precious metals buying from sites like walmart or amazon or you know ebay or groups on facebook or instagram there are a lot of scammers out there or there's a lot of sites that are selling legit gold and silver at crazy crazy prices search up best online dealers and on, right on the first page of Google, there will be like 10 good, outstanding online dealer sites. Not only that, if you have a local coin shop in the area, go to them and learn the basics and they will teach you. If they have the time, they will teach you everything you want to know about gold and silver. Number three, don't start stacking if you have debt. There is no sense to start stacking gold and silver and saving your money or investing if you have debt, pay your debt off before you stack your metals. You don't want to have to sell it when you have to pay your bills. This stuff is for long term. You stack it to hold it for your future. Number four, if you're getting into gold and silver thinking you're going to make millions of dollars or make a quick buck, buy it and dump it type of deal, you are way wrong. This is a long term investment. It's a hedge against inflation, it's insurance, it's a savings. You buy this stuff and you hold it a long time. It's like a retirement account. Very similar to that, but way better. So don't think it's like crypto or a stock or whatever. Then you're going to buy it, hold it for a year, and sell it. I promise you, you're going to take a huge loss if you do things that way. Number five. Take care of your gold and silver. Don't touch your beautiful silver coins or gold coins with your bare hands, especially if you just had a greasy burger after McDonald's. Wear these when touching or handling your coins or bars. Unless it's old or constitutional, which is junk silver, that's different. But you don't want to get your fingerprints all over these beautiful coins. And if you take care of it, when you bring it in, to offload it, they're going to give you more money because it's in better shape. 
versus if you brought in a tube of these bounties all milked up and have fingerprints all over them and toned up they're not going to give you as much money as if you kept them in decent shape and handled them the right way all right guys that was the video for today probably the most quickest video i've ever done in my youtube career <laughs> i just wanted to name five mistakes that we have done or new stackers are doing which you maybe should sit down and think about you know we've all made those mistakes and we learn from them hopefully we can stop anybody else um, before they do those mistakes hopefully some new stackers are watching is watching this video right now there's a lot of great content creators out there that done a lot of videos similar to this um, go check them out and uh, yeah just be smart when stacking metals there's a lot of mistakes that you can make and granted you're gonna make some it's gonna happen but you learn from them but maybe if you watch this video maybe you you'll be that first stacker that's never made one of those mistakes before <laughs> but alright guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah we are in the month of December last month of the year the month of Christmas the most expensive month of the year <laughs> but alright guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and Patreon stacker we'll catch you on the next one peace